Denny Hamlin buries the nose of his car in the back cover of Kevin Harvick. Damn it, I know what to do there. Your deal, your race team, we are behind you 100%. Here at Pocono Raceway on an absolutely glorious day. You know, I would say probably Tuesday is when I put last week behind me. That's typically when I shift gears and start thinking about the, the week coming up and start, you know, putting in work for that particular week. So proud of this race team rebounding just one week removed from what is, you know, a tough loss to get that close. And, you know, Denny and this race team, are, they're, they're such professionals that Tuesday morning it's time to go back to work and go to Pocono, and that's what we did. Three wide for third. All Joe Gibbs Toyotas. Chris set up a strategy for us early in the race. Our focus uh, heading into the race was for the win. The great thing about stage racing from the fans' perspective and NASCAR's perspective is that it makes it difficult uh, to cover all the scenarios. Had a few timely cautions to help us really against the 18, honestly, because he had such good restarts that allowed them to win the first stage. And then they had some cautions not go their way that, that obviously um, knocked them out of contention. Kyle should turn three behind you. He was going to live and die by that strategy no matter what. 48 going to win this stage. We'll restart four. This will be open. We are staying out. Green, green, green. Run to the checkered flag. 57 laps to go. Hamlin and Harvick lead on each other into the corner. It's going to be Denny Hamlin taking the top spot away. Hello, clean air. New leader. I love it. Once I got out front and I was running, you know, extremely fast lap times, I was like, wow, <laughs> this thing is fast. Trouble into the outside wall. Ryan Priest pounds it. I was a little frustrated that we lost some track position there on pit road, you know, taking two tires. As the leader, I would think that we would come back out with a lead or at least be on the front. Hannah loses the spots on this restart. I fell back to, I think, fifth. I just was parked there for, it was about 25 laps to go. Luckily, it's just had a fast enough car. Nice work, man. Right back in rhythm. Go get these guys. Denny Hamlin has gone to the whip now. He bypassed Martin Truex Jr. 18 to go. Go get the 20. The 20 was in heavy fuel save mode because he beat me off pit road, so I knew he didn't have as much fuel as I had. He let off on entry. I dove to the outside, put it a little bit in the sticky stuff, and got around him. Caution flag is out. Save, save, save. Got one stop. When the caution came, I was just thinking, great, here, here we go again. We have no fuel concern to get us to the regulation in. If we had to go green, white, checker, we'll have to talk about it again. Green flag, four to go. We got a great push from the 20 down the front straightaway, and that was truly the key for us staying out front. At the front of the racetrack, it's Hamlin to the lead. Trouble. Oh, Kurt's cranking the car. A couple of cars go spinning. Still OK. Doing your deal. All good. All we can do is all we can do. We're fine right here. Honestly, I was pretty confident we were good to the end. We were on the conservative side of our calculations, so I just kept Denny on the attack. Green flag is out, and we are underway. Clear sailing for the 11 car. Yes, sir. Hell yeah, DH. Nice work, guys. The enough fuel in the tank for Denny Hamlin, who comes across the line. He scores his third win of the season. You're damn right, Denny Hamlin. Way to go, babe. A little proud of you in this race, team. Frank, the baby. Nice job. This isn't out of the blue. We've been extremely fast over the last couple months, and last week we showed it. This is just the, the beginning of hopefully a stretch run we have.